15 signs Meghan Markle is already pregnant. These days, the web is blowing up with Meghan Markle pregnancy rumors. These rumors are everywhere. Now, it's time to share 15 reasons why so many people think Meghan Markle is already pregnant. Meghan Markle rose to fame playing sweet and smart, Rachel Zane, on Suits. Suits is the second most popular show on cable, next only to the Boogs and Dragons fantasy TV program, Game of Thrones. So, Meghan definitely earned her fame in her own right. Then, Marcus Anderson a consultant for the private club group called Soho House who is friend of Meghan and Harry, played matchmaker and the rest is history. These days, Meghan is probably the most famous woman in the world. Is she pregnant? It would explain so much, such as why the wedding plans are moving so fast, as well as why she bundling up in big, bulky coats on a regular basis. Yes, I know it's winter, but still, the royal wedding of Meghan and Harry is going to be epic. And a very visible baby bump under her couture bridal gown would certainly cause a major media firestorm. If this rumor is true, their baby may just become a king or a USA president. Is world domination in the works? The engagement happened too fast. It's been a whirlwind romance, especially since these two had a long-distance relationship. Meghan and Harry have said that they never went more than a couple of weeks without seeing each other. That still made for a lot of time apart during the romance, which was officially announced by the palace on November 8, 2016. People usually but not always wait longer to get engaged after they meet, so what's the rush? Harry says that a five-day trip to a luxury camp in Botswana allowed him to get to know Meghan away from the media glare. They got to spend quality time together, one-on-one, -on -one, in a pretty spectacular setting. The trip seemed to be the turning point for Harry. It was obviously really romantic for him. It was probably the time period when he decided to pop the question. If Meghan conceived during that trip, which happened in August of 2017, her baby would be due sometime in May. That's when the wedding is, so maybe that conception date is unlikely. However, it's not impossible and she may have conceived afterwards, if she didn't conceive in Botswana. Her body looks different. Meghan is a beauty. She's got adorable freckles which were, thankfully, not covered up with makeup when she was photographed by Peter Lindbergh for the cover of Vanity Fair magazine. She's also got a great figure which was showed off extensively on suits remember all of those form-fitting pencil skirts. These days, Meghan's body seems to look a little different, although it might just be her choice of cold weather clothing. She seems a bit curvier, but it could be an illusion. If she has gained a little weight, maybe it's sign of pregnancy. Her weight didn't fluctuate much through so many seasons of suits. Some pictures do make Meghan appear a little bit pregnant. These photos are fueling a lot of the rumors online. The source told the Tribune that Meghan is expecting the baby and that the Queen and other royal family members think that the situation is unfortunate. The wedding's been fast-tracked. The wedding is happening fast compared to other royal weddings, which is making a lot of people wonder if pregnancy is the reason why it's being fast-tracked. It's about six months between the engagement announcement and the wedding date, which is definitely speedy in royal terms. However, some people who don't buy into the pregnancy rumors think that the wedding is being fast-tracked because Harry wants his aged grandfather to be there on the big day, no matter what. His grandfather, Prince Philip, is 96 years old. The wedding is supposed to be relatively small, with just 800 guests. It's fun to imagine all of the suits cast mixing with royal on the big day. I wondered if Harvey Specter played by actor, Gabriel Match and red-headed Anna played by Sarah Rafferty will get along with the Queen and other members of the nobility, including Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles. Will Louis Litt played to perfection by actor, Rick Hoffman make sure that the royal family gets lit up on the big day? It all sounds like a lot of fun. Will a baby soon follow to make things even more exciting? Harry said they'll start the family soon. In his first interview alongside Meghan, Harry made a point of letting the world know that the couple want to start a family soon. Why did he point that out? I've seen plenty of pics of Harry with babies and kids and he seems like someone who's really warm and affectionate with them. Harry is a bit more rebellious than Prince William, who is likely going to be king someday. Harry is not likely to be king someday and Harry has had lots of scandal in the past. He dressed up in Nazi uniform once for a costume party and has
been photographed smoking and slash or drunk an awful lot, although those pics were taken long ago. Babies and kids seem to bring out his softer side, which is really pretty sweet. His late mother, Diana, was extremely maternal and it seems like her nurturing ways have been passed down to her youngest son. Harry reportedly adores being an uncle, so he's going to love being a dad. He clearly has the drive to be a father, so a pregnancy would be something that he welcomed with open arms. She is wearing large coats a lot. Sure, it's a cold time of year, but Megan is covering up in big coats which may mask a baby bump. Her coats are gorgeous, but do they hide a secret? Megan's coats are getting plenty of press these days, which is great news for the designers who create them. Fashion brands that Megan favors for her big and bulky coats include Toronto-based Line the label Megan wore their white coat during her engagement photo opus and the company can't keep that coat in stock now. And another Canadian fashion brand, Mackage. Mackage designed her navy blue winter coat. I'm Canadian and I love how she pimping Canadian fashion designers. Suits was filmed in Toronto, so she's showing admirable loyalty to the country where she worked for so long. Soon, she'll probably switch to British designers. Bookies give 7 to 1 odds that a baby is on the way. Bookies in England recently changed the odds for bets that a baby is on the way. The odds are now 7 to 1. Would you bet on a royal baby right now? Lots of people are. The 7 to 1 odds are being offered by a betting service called Paddy Power and those who place these bets are wagering that Harry and Meghan's wedding will be a shotgun wedding. According to a Paddy Power rep, Harry has been bringing the royals into the modern era for some time now. So marrying a pregnant woman wouldn't faze him at all. Lots of brides to be are pregnant these days. The world has changed and Patty Power spokespeople believe that it's possible that Harry would proudly marry Meghan if she's expecting. Royal life has been changing for quite a while. Royals never used to be able to marry divorced people. If you've watched The Crown you know that Princess Margaret has to choose between her title which meant the world to her and marrying a divorced man, Peter Townsend. She chose the title but suffered plenty of heartbreak for her choice. Meghan is divorced, but that doesn't seem to matter to the royal family anymore. Meghan is detracting from the bump with high heels. The source told in touch that Meghan is wearing really high heels these days, as well as a series of big coats, in order to draw people's eyes away from her growing tummy, because she's pregnant. When we wear high heels, we look longer and leaner. Formerly a bit curvier Spice Girl. Jerry Halliwell Ginger Spice used to claim that she wore those huge Spice Girl platform shoes because, without them, she'd look like a great fat pongo. Pongo being slang for orangutan. Is Megan using the same technique to hide a baby bump? Whether she is or isn't, she looks as fabulous in high heels as she does in everything else. Walking his high heels when you're pregnant isn't really the safest or most comfortable experience. However, Megan surely has full-time security these days and some burly bodyguards will always be there to catch her if she trips or stumbles. She's visiting with a pregnancy nutritionist. A nutritionist named Melanie Brown, who specializes in pregnancy nutrition, has been meeting with Megan at Nottingham Cottage. Nottingham Cottage is Prince Harry and Megan's love nest. Before you get too excited about the pregnancy nutritionist visits, bear in mind that Melanie Brown is also a fertility nutritionist. Megan is 36 years old. If she isn't pregnant right now, she may be worried about whether or not it's going to be tough to get pregnant in the future. Her clock is ticking, so it makes sense that she would seek out the services of a fertility nutritionist if she wants to boost the odds of conceiving. She may not need help, but it doesn't hurt to do the right things before trying to have a baby. If she's already pregnant, it seems like she's following a special diet which will be to the benefit of her baby. Megan has given up massages. Megan used to get massages, but now as rumor has it she's sticking to facials. Women aren't supposed to get massages during months 1 to 3 of pregnancy. Megan headed for the UK from Canada for the big engagement photo opus. As soon as she exited the plane, she visited London's most beloved facialist Sarah Chapman, who also tends to the complexions of Posh Spice Victoria Beckham and Pretty Maid Helen spokesperson, Gigi Hadid. Megan's flight from Toronto to London would have taken seven and a half hours. Long flights are held, so it's good that she had a chance to get pampered afterwards. However, pregnant or not, 
She probably opted for the facial because she knew that the whole world would be scrutinizing her as soon as the palace announced the engagement. So, the facial might have been as much of a chore as anything. Especially if she pregnant. Harry longs for kids. If Meghan really is pregnant, Harry is probably ecstatic, as he's said he's wanted kids for as long as he can remember. Most guys aren't really this hong ho about becoming daddies. It's quite endearing that he's so into it. It's just one more reason why Harry is so many female fans. Harry had had plenty of time to mature. He was wild, but isn't like that now, or so it seems. He's grown up and had every mistake and wrong move magnified by a million websites, newspapers, TV stations and radio stations. That's a crazy way to grow up. I think if he and Meghan have a baby soon, he'll be super protective of their child. He was very protective of Meghan when she was getting cyberbullied. For this, I really like Harry. He seems nice and a bit more real than the other royals. Women on Twitter think she pregnant. As soon as some women on Twitter saw Meghan at her official engagement announcement, they tweeted stuff like, she's pregnant. Mark my words and Meghan Markle looks pregnant already. Sure, these Twitter ladies don't know Meghan and have no real facts upon which to base their opinions and claims. But, hey, it's Twitter, right? I'm sure Meghan anticipated the pregnancy tweets before they arrived. Of course, some women have powerful intuition. This means that the women who think Meghan is pregnant may end up being right. Only time will tell. If they were wrong, it doesn't matter anyway. Their tweets are really just a drop in the bucket in terms of commentary about Meghan Markle. Meghan may have a master plan. Did you see the stuff online about how their kid could be royalty and a U.S. president? Some people think that there is a master plan for world domination in the works, and that Meghan is pregnant right now with a baby that could change everything for the USA and England. This big rumor is more fun than all of that Illuminati stuff. If their child becomes master of the universe, no one's going to worry too much about the fact that Meghan was expecting while she walked down the aisle. Yes, she may be pregnant with a future world leader who has far-reaching and awesome powers. Or she might not be. The biggest argument against her being pregnant is that I don't think she wants to be the pregnant royal. I think she wants the Princess Kate effect on her wedding, which means a wonderfully slim body in a handmade dress worth more than most people's homes. What do you think? Meghan's face looks fuller. During early pregnancy, women's faces change. Their faces get fuller and the contours of Meghan's face have changed a bit lately. Her face looks rounder. It may just be the softening effect of being in love with someone and watching all of your fairy tale dreams come true right before your very eyes. Or, it might be pregnancy hormones and a little weight gain. If Meghan is pregnant, her face will keep changing. Princess Kate's face changes a lot when she's expecting and Meghan's probably will, too. If Meghan isn't pregnant, I anticipate that she'll start getting really skinny soon. Princess Kate was super slim on her wedding day. She looked elegant beyond belief. I think Meghan will want the same effect. So, I'm looking for pronounced weight loss or gain. I don't think she'll stay at the same weight. Rules are being broken for her. Pitha Middleton's wedding had a no ring, no bring policy, but Meghan went with Harry anyway, even though they weren't engaged at that point. Also, Meghan is getting married while Kate is pregnant, which is a bit improper. Why is everyone breaking these rules? It's possible that rules are being broken because Meghan needs to integrate into the royal family as soon as possible, because she's expecting a baby. The royal family may want to make sure that photographers and reporters see Meghan getting cozy with royals and friends and relatives of royals, long before the wedding. It helps to send a message that Meghan is right where she belongs. If Meghan is expecting, the royal family would undoubtedly feel pressure to get the wedding done and dusted as the Brits would say. So. The royals might decide that making the very pregnant Kate attend the wedding probably isn't that big of a deal. The royals are apparently unhappy. One source told the British newspaper that Meghan is expecting and that, behind the scenes, no one is really too thrilled about it, except perhaps Meghan and Harry themselves. The thing is, the Queen has had to deal with so many annoying scandals, from the Charles and Camilla affair to the tackiness of Prince Andrew and Fergie and beyond not to mention Diana's tragic death, which doesn't fall into the annoying category. Diana's death was simply horrible, harrowing and sad. 
the queen and those closest to her are very tough. Their goal is to keep the monarchy alive at all costs and scandal doesn't help. The queen believes that royals should set an example and give people something to aspire to. If royals act just the same as everyone else, they risk losing their status as role models. This is why the queen is allergic to scandal.